Mac vs. Games is now sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hi everybody, it's Matt from Mac vs. Games, and today I'm going to be doing a pack wars with the best dad in the world, my dad! Hello! And we're going to be doing pack wars with a brand new set, at the time we're recording, Ixalan! Ixalan! So, this is the brand new set as we're recording this. I know I say that every time we do a Pack Wars video, but it's just the time we're recording it. We don't post all videos at one time. <laughs> so, we have our own special rules for our Pack Wars, so, Dad, would you like to explain that? Sure. So, the way we play Pack Wars is we take one pack of the newest set, we take 12 or 13 uh, basic lands. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 12. I think it's just uh, a little better for this set. Like in Battle for Zendikar and... Uh, What's it called? Oath of the Gatewash. We use 13 because the you know, Eldrazi's have like 7 or 8 mana costs. Right. Now there are a lot of expensive dinosaurs in this game, but it also has a really aggressive uh, early game. Yes, so this does. way it allows you to have a, a decent curve while still being able to play your big creatures. So you'll probably get 8 or 9 lands in the course of a regular game. Yeah, that happens a lot. Now this is a great way to learn a new set, so we definitely encourage you to try it at home. Mm -hmm. um, some of the uh, little tweaks we have from a regular game of Magic, um, when you first draw your cards, unless you draw seven lands, there's no mulligans. If you draw all seven lands, then you get a mulligan. And if you, you have get... to show it to your opponent. Yes. Which and is my dad. if you get six lands and one card, you can scry. But other than that, you got to keep whatever you draw. Scry one. Yes. Yes. Um, just to keep things running smoothly, there's no maximum hand size. So if you do get a little, uh, uh, if you have some mana trouble early on, you don't have to worry about that. And you don't lose by decking out. So if you draw all the cards in your deck, you keep playing until either there's a stalemate, that's a draw, or somebody wins. And um, you might have realized we have like a whole bunch of assortments of land. And it's like not even. It's because right. all lands count as any color. That includes any lands that you find in the deck. I thought... No, those lands oh. can tap for any color land uh, either, uh, also. But you have to follow any rules on them. So if it says it comes in tapped, for example, yes. it still comes in tapped. Yes. Um, other than that, it's a normal game of Magic. You see we uh, play to uh, 20 life. Yep. And that's it. We'll we see who goes first. Oh, no. There you go. All right, you got a nine. Not bad. Oh, uh, yeah. roll a ten. So I saw four and it got excited. <laughs> I'll, I'll be on the play then. Fine. All right. And we should look at the back of our pack to see if we have a flip card. Now, if we do have a flip card, if we're just playing one-on-one -on -one like this, we'll just look at our flip card. We won't show it to our opponent. Yes. And we'll just shuffle in the uh, checklist card instead. All right. So let's see. I'm going to look away and see if you check the script. Now, otherwise, you don't look at your deck. You don't want to know what you're going to have until uh, the game starts. So, so, I do not have a flip card, so I'm going to show I have an island and a pirate token here. I do not have a flip card either. And I have a forest and a dinosaur. All right. Roar! Roar! <laughs> roar, roar, roar. So, I'm going to take my 12 land, take my unlooked at pack, and I'm going to shuffle them together. So are there any cards in this uh, set that you're uh, you're hoping to pull? There's an uncommon set that needs one more of for my deck. Well, which kind of common is that? Favorable wins. Oh, is that the uh, one in the blue? It gives all your flyers plus one plus one? Yes. We only have three. Seems like a good card. We only have three of them and we need four. There's a lot of cheap one and two mana flying pirates that I think you can make a good deck out flying of. Flying pirates? Yeah, there's like the Siren Pirate, and there's the... Um... I might go blue-black. I don't know if I'm going to go blue-black or blue-white. Mm -hmm. I'm debating if blue or black. There's a, a couple of vampires in the set, and removal. Well, if you're playing favorable wins, you probably want to get off the uh, start early with flyers, so... Blue-black also has a lot of turn ones. There's two turn ones that I have in mind. Mm -hmm. There's the bat. Right. And I forgot the other one, but I'm pretty sure there's another. Yeah, I think there's a black pirate that has flying as well. What, what color man? What color is it? One in the black. No. If I remember right, it's the one that when it comes in the battlefield, if you attacked, your opponent has to discard a card too. Oh. Uh, I could be wrong about that. I think that might be three mana. I'm not sure. Um, 
Uh, the card I'm looking forward to most is the big dinosaurs. Uh, I'd the like nine seven, like the Indiana nine seven. Uh, I want the um, the one that when it enters the battlefield, you get a uh, another dinosaur token. Oh. And it gives all the other one. dinosaurs haste. Yeah, I had one of those at oh, the pre-release. Oh, really good, and he destroyed. He went four and zero with that. I went four and zero with that deck, so that was really fun. So I want something I like that was three standard. and one, but hey. It's still a lot of fun. Yeah, you still got five packs out of the deal. And my dad got 15. <laughs> Oops. Cards there? Um, there's still a lot of right. cards we're missing from the set. Like, nine yep. tenths of Mythics we're missing. Like, we're missing Veraska, Hotly. We have, um, Jace. We got a Jace. We actually have, um, two Foil Ops. The best of, common in the set. As of right now, those are about... $8 each. Yeah, it depends on if those will see uh, modern. modern play. Yeah, they're pretty good. I don't know if good. they'll replace Serum Visions, but they're still pretty good. Yeah, I really like them. Alright, so I'm going to be on the play. Scry 1 draw guard. Four. 1 mana. It's also an instant. That's nice. Yes. If, an, if it was a sorcery, it wouldn't be that good. No, not at 1 mana. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so let's see. I don't have just 1 or just uh, 7 lands. So the I'm thing is, if you have um, no lands, Still have to keep you still it. have to keep it. And I don't have seven or six lands, so I have to keep. All right, good luck. Good luck to you, too. All right, so I'm going to start off with a land. I'm going to play Opt. <laughs> so I'll try one. Go. And, hmm. I'll put that to the bottom. That's super probably exciting. Very, probably a very high mana card. cost card. Not necessarily, it just wasn't an exciting card. Okay. Um, I'll pass turn. Draw for turn. Mm hmm Play an island. And I'll play Shorekeeper. Oh, I hate that card so much. Go. Ugh, oh, so hard to get through a 0-3. Especially in an early game. Hmm, what can I do about that? Nothing. Um, how about we play Ixali's Keeper? Oh, sweet, it's not dead. It's just a 2-2. Two -two. I can pay 7 in the green and tap it and sacrifice it. To give another creature plus five plus five and trample. Yeah, that's dangerous. That seems expensive. Yes, it does. Go ahead. Go. Nope, no follow up. Nope. Not attacking with your zero three. I'm good. All right. Uh, if you're trying to make Trilobite tribal, tribal, <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, I'm gonna commune with dinosaurs. Oh no. So look at the top five cards in my library. I'm gonna land reveal a dinosaur. Three, and if you don't know what this does, four, you can play seven in a blue and tap five. it, sacrifice it, and draw three cards. Ew. It's also a three. Oh, three. Ew. All right, so Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna have to take a land. Yay! You cards on the your bottom cards. of my library in any order. Mm. Not a random order. I can make. I can choose the order. But uh, hmm. I'm gonna have to pass. I will play my rare, Kindali mm -hmm. Sunwing. Creatures your, opponents enter, creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Oh, that's like um, Thalia. Or a uh, Lieutenant's Console. Lieutenant's Console? Or Console of the Lieutenant's Authority of the Consoles? Authority of the Consoles, duh. Well, that's not a creature. Yeah. That's a two and a white for a flyer that does that. It's pretty good. Yeah. Huh? If, I'm, if I go white, that's going in it. It's a dinosaur. And it's a flyer. Seems good. And pass my turn. Because I can't do anything else. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I guess I'm going to play my rare. <gasps> uh oh. I've got a rampaging ferocidon. No, not that guy. He's got menace. Players can't gain life. And whenever another creature enters the battlefield, this deals one damage to that creature's controller. So if you play another creature, you take a life. If I play another creature, I take a life. And he enters the battlefield tapped. And yes, he does. Doesn't matter, he doesn't have haste. Hmm. Go ahead. I'm really upset you played that because... Something Chalice. Ooh. You lose life, but I gain a life. Well, 
You but you don't a gain a life, but I'll still lose a life. And attack you for two. And I have no way of dealing with a flyer, so I'm going to take two more. Unless there's effects before damage. Nope. Go. Okay. Untap him. Draw. Hmm. Still don't know what any of my own comments are. Neither of us do. No, I haven't pulled any of my uncommons yet. Lost in your hand. Uh, I'm gonna go to attacks. Yep. I'll swing for three. I will take three. And I'll pass turn. <laughs> two in the air. Yes. No blocks. Okay. Take two. Rummaging Goblin, I take the light. Yep. And go. Draw a turn. Hmm. I'm land. Combat. Mm -hmm. I'll attack for three. Down to 13. Now, one thing with this set, and I agree, most people, uh, a lot of people have complained about it, is that removal is either very expensive or very slow. So. You know, it's going to be kind of hard to deal with a 3-3 a three, three flyer like that. Unless, you know, I had a 4-4 four, four flyer of my own. Take a life for that. This is the Deathless Ancient. He's got flying. And I can tap three untapped vampires I control to return them from the graveyard to my hand. It's Deathless, not Daphless. Deathless. It's a Daphless. Daphless? Yes, you did. Okay. Go ahead. I will tap it, discard a card. Okay. And I draw a card? Yes, discard and then draw. Pass. Row. row. Spaghetti is. 3-3 three, three with Menace is doing a lot of good work here. Mm. Hmm. Go to combat? Mm -hmm. I'll attack for seven. I will block this. Okay. okay. For damage. Mm-hmm. I will cost to be plunder, so I'll sacrifice an artifact or creature. This will be my creature, and I draw two cards. Okay. Thank gosh. So I it's blocked. Thank Galab that doesn't have trample. <laughs> and I draw two cards. You draw two cards. So okay. you're just going to take the three damage. Put a ten. All right. I'll pass turn. Okay. Draw for turn. Mm -hmm. I will discard a swamp. Mm -hmm. And I will draw a card. I play a land for turn. I will pay five mana and play a Sunrise Seeker. Okay, and what, what does he do? It's not filled at Explorers, it's a 3-3 three, three, three Vigilance. Okay, so that's not a land. And I will keep that on top. Alright, and he gets a counter. Yes, he does. Go. Get off your turn. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So he is a 4-4 four, four right now? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's... Big but Do you four damage to a creature player? I don't. Four. Yay. I do, however, have... Destroy target creature. Contract killing. Destroy target uh. creature. And I get a treasure token. That was mean. I know. Do you have a treasure token over there? I do. Alright. So then... Uh, I'm going to go to combat. Okay. You just have the zero, 3, right? Yeah. 4, 7, 2 is 9. You're going to block the 2-2? Two, yeah. two? All right, good choice. All right, second main. Mm -hmm. 3 damage three. creature player. No. Sailor of Means, when he enters the battlefield, I create a I have treasure token. No, I just use a die. Okay. Go. Uh, I lose a life for that. And I'll pass. You actually... Never mind. I what? Never mind. Did I mess up something? No. Oh, okay. Did 
that the card you needed? Actually, the complete opposite. Oh. It's a game. This is what I drew. What did you Trade draw? three one one very white vampire tokens with lifelink. Well, you could have used them as blockers. And then it could have died. No one would have died if I played it. Oh, that's true. Yep. Ouch. Good game. Good game. Maybe one of us had a foil rare. Possibly. And I was, and I did not. Let me see what I got. I got lands. These were my commons. Lookouts dispersal. Mark of the vampire. Vicious conquistador was my other uncommon. My other uncommons were drover of the mighty. And that was another uncommon. And called to the feast. And right. my other cards were Dead Eye Tormentor, Headwater Sentries, Territorial, Territorial Hammer Skull, Dire Fleet, Interloper, and Ixali's Keeper. Alright. Well, I hope you uh, decide to give um, Pack Wars a try. As you can see, it uh, makes cracking packs a lot more fun than just mm -hmm. jumping right to the rares. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And, if you enjoyed the video, please share it with your friends. I have a... Twitter account. It's Matt Reviews All. And I have a Facebook account. It's... Matt Crush's Games. And I also have a Twitch account. It's Matt Crush's Twitch. And if you want to send me some FCBM, give me an email at... MattCrush'sGames at gmail.com. Don't forget to stay tuned for more live streams and videos, and bye. bye. Start over. Three, two. Hi everybody, it's Matt from Matt Versus Games. Today I'm gonna to be doing pack words with the best dad in the world of Slow my down. dad. Ah! Matt, you're, going, you're talking too fast. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll just go a little slower. <laughs> Come on, I wanna get this done with before nine o'clock. Three, two, one, action.